Good morning, everyone. And welcome to Holy Rosary Church, Mary Mother of God Parish, as we celebrate the sacred mysteries of our faith today, honoring St. Martin of Porres, the religious um, Benedictine from Peru, Lima, Peru. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Call to mind our own false feelings and sins and ask for God's mercy. Bent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Pray for eternal redemption, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who led St. Martin de Porres, by a path of humility to heavenly glory, grant that we may so follow his radiant example in this life as to merit to be exalted with him in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice in the Lord always. I shall say it again, rejoice. Your kindness should be known to all. The Lord is near. Have no anxiety at all, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. Then the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious, if there is any excellence and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, then the God of peace will be with you. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial psalm, in you, Lord, I have found my peace. O Lord, my heart is not proud, nor are my eyes haughty. I busy not myself with great things, nor with things too sublime for me. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. Nay, rather, I have stilled and quieted my soul like a weaned child, like a weaned child on its mother's lap, so is my soul within me. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. O Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and forever. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together as one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with your whole your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest of the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on those two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Two little meditations today. First on the saint that we celebrate, St. Martin de Porres, who entered into eternal life in 1639 in Lima, Peru. He was born of a Spanish knight and a free slave girl, an African slave girl, and therefore he was called mid-caste. He was a mulatto, 
and he was accepted neither by the black community nor by the white community. He was pretty much relegated to the ends of society that uh, did not uh, look favorably upon him. Uh, but he, he did not turn to anger or depression, but rather he turned to God and asked God to help him live his life in a meaningful way. And God listened to his prayer. He joined the Benedictine friars and became a tremendous help and instrument of uh, saving glory to the African slaves whom he ministered to and to the poor, the indigent, and those who had been rejected by society like himself. He was a contemporary of Saint um, Rose of Lima, who herself worked for racial equality and justice in Lima, Peru. Um, when it comes to the slave trade, we usually think in terms of the United States and our early history. But when you read about the history of South America, we stand well behind the great slave trade that was rampant throughout South America. Tremendous uh, enterprise who just took you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of African uh, people uh, to South American cities and farms and uh, factories and everything else. The, the slave trade was, uh, was, was, was really enormous in South America. And people like St. Martin and St. Rose worked with the slaves to try to give them some dignity and to realize that they are too are loved by God and are his children. And that brings us to the second little meditation that Jesus says, uh, we are to love God, the, the greatest commandment, to love God and to love our neighbor. Now, other parts of the scriptures, we hear Jesus saying, how can you say you love God when you don't, whom you do not see, when you don't love your neighbor whom you do see? So the two commandments go hand in hand. If we're gonna love God, we must love our neighbor first. And to love our neighbor first, we have to love ourselves. The old Latin phrase, non dat quan non habit, I cannot give you what I don't have myself. And if I don't have a love for myself as a child of God, as one inspired by the Holy Trinity to live a life of holiness and, and uh, sanctity, then I can't pass that on to you. How am I going to, if, we hear people often say the sad phrase, I hate my life. You ever hear that people say that? I hate myself. Why? Because they remember only the bad things of their lives, their past lives, their the faults, their failings, their sins, and so forth, which have already been taken care of by, by God, who has forgiven them to the great sacrament of reconciliation. But they cannot, for some reason or other, psychologically forgive themselves. They keep bringing the old, old sins and old faults and failures into the present and eventually into the future as well. They keep dragging that, that bag of garbage along. Leave it. If God can forgive you, then you can forgive yourself. You know, we say, well, we've done things that we're so ashamed of and so terrible and so on. All of us are sinners, but God, saved us by offering himself in sacrificial love on the wood of the cross. Those sins, those faults, those, those failures, they're, all, they're gone. Live our life today as a life of love, as a life of, of gratitude to God for what he has done for us and continues to do for us. Let us live the life of Saint Martin de Porres and the life of Saint uh, Rose of Lima that 
we can love one another because we love our God and he loves us. May I invite you to stand now and together let us offer our prayers and petitions to the Lord. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer for the church throughout the world, that she may always call her people to live in concrete ways the great commandment of love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, that they may act with integrity and truthfulness, working together for the common good. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the containment and eradication of the COVID-19 virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Robert Kennedy, for whom this Mass is being offered. May they be at peace with God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may love one another as God loves us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother for her very powerful intercession as we pray. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed, blessed are thou amongst women, women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbles himself to share in our humanity. Blessed you, Lord God of all creation, for goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given in human hands and made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer. Through the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Let us all stand and pray. At your sacrifice and mine today, in union with St. Martin de Porres, will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Amen. Praise and glory of his name, of our good, of all his holy church. Most merciful God, who were pleased to create in St. Martin de Porres the new man in your image, the old having passed away, graciously grant, we pray, that renewed like him we may offer you the acceptable sacrifice of conciliation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of St. Martin de Porres and all of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example leads us to courage and their fervent prayer sustains us in all that we do. And so, Lord, with all of the angels and the saints, we too give you thanks with exultant praise as we all acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, the highest, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Be holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it 
gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, handed it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for that sins, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Saint Joseph, her devoted husband, with Saint Martin de Porres, and Saint Rose of Lima, and all of the saints, martyrs, and who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. And grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior. Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you today, and with love in our hearts, let us offer Christ's peace to one another. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
The Lord is my portion. He is good to the soul that seeks him. Let us pray. By the power of the sacrament, Lord, we pray, lead us always in your love, but through the example of St. Martin de Porres, and bring to fulfillment the good work you have begun in us until the day of Christ Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in his peace. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day.